Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be going over the SEMrush position tracking tool. If you have some keywords that you want to track, this is something that it's also capable of. I put a few keywords in here quickly just to show you what it's going to be all about. So with only a few keywords in here, keep in mind I just added in, we can kind of scroll through and see where you're going to be at in terms of the top three, top 10, top 20, or top four, your ranking distribution, which goes by color, as you can see there if I hover over it. We have top keywords, we have tags if you want to add them. You can add competitors to see how you compare to them. And of course, we've got some cert features, but let's dive deeper into each section. So if we click on overview, it's going to talk about the percentage of where you are, obviously the first day, so it's not going to show as much with this. But then here we have our specific keywords. We have cart or pricing. We have the intent, which is cool. It's going to be pretty easy to figure out intent when it comes to like pricing and comparison and reviews. We're looking at transactional here. This one also has navigational, but overall it's going to be transactional. It shows you where you are in your positions. It will show differences as it goes on along with, you know, estimated traffic. Keep in mind, I just put these in here as an example. I want to give you a demo of what they have to offer. I personally have a lot of position tracking tools, but just to show you what it's capable of, okay? Then we have a few of the other keywords which show similar things. It's also gonna show these SERP features. So it depends on what it's here. So it could be reviews if they're there, site links on SERP. This is gonna be videos. This is gonna be people also ask, indented on SERP, and last but not least is gonna be AdWords top on SERP. Obviously, this is something that you can check personally if you want to do. Just, you know, simply open it up, type in your keyword and see what's going on. Keep in mind, depending on your niche and the keyword that you're going for, some of these can be a really big deal. Like if you load up uh, for a specific keyword and you see that eight out of 10 spots are videos and like to rank quote unquote one for a specific article, you're going to be all the way at the bottom of the page. It might not be worth putting a whole lot of effort into. I've seen plenty of times like that. Or maybe if you're doing something with e-commerce, you see just so many ads and so many pictures and videos above. That's something to keep in mind. So just some food for thought when it comes to that going on with the ranking distribution. As we talked about, this is very similar before when it had a different stat bar. The rankings in top three, top 10, top 20, and of course, top 100. Tags is something you can add if you want to. I personally haven't used Guru, so that's not going to be something I've used. Pages, these are the pages that you're going to be utilizing. Keyword cannibalization, which is great. If you want to upgrade to Guru, you can do that. That's pretty much where you have one URL and it's ranking for other things, you know, rather than ranking for what it should and not something else. Okay, so that's what that's going to be all about. Competitors discovery. So you can get a good idea of your competitors based on your specific keywords. The more keywords you have in here, obviously, the more competitors you're going to get. There's a big reason why these companies are there because I'm using keywords based upon them. But aside from that, you will see some other competitors that just aren't software related sites overall. And of course, we have devices and locations and featured snippets. Featured snippets are obviously great if you win them, but this just talks more about it, what you have, but there's nothing there at the time. So overall, that's a very quick overview of the position tracking. It's cool that SEMrush has that. It's just like, I, in my opinion, it's an additional bonus, a nice little feature. In my opinion, I just love the fact that you can get some great analysis when it comes to backlinks and keywords. I think those are some of the best features. So if you wanted to use it, it's cool that it at least has this and it has plenty of features within this to see what you got going on for your website, where you're ranking and going on from there. So that about does it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that gave you a nice little demo of how their position tracking tool works or just overall their keyword tracker or rank tracker, however you want to say it. If you want to test out SEMrush, that free trial link will be in the description. If you have any questions, that's what the comment section is for. And that's about it. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.